Namaskaram. I am Dr. Nandini Devi. I am a consultant gynecologist and infertility specialist working in Indra IVF Chennai branch. Today I am going to talk about an important topic that is plasticist culture and the laser assisted hatching and assisted reproductive technology. So before that, I would like to emphasize the importance of maintaining the social distance, wearing a mask and frequent hand washing in order to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. And luck has been done. It doesn't mean that we should not follow these preventive measures. It's our social responsibility to follow these preventive measures diligently. And we at Indra IPF are there to help your dream of achieving parenthood by following these preventive measures in order to fight along with you with the spread of, to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Okay, let's come to the topic. Some of you might be undergoing this IVF exe cycle and you guys will be knowing these terminologies that the plastosis culture and the laser assisted hatching. So let me explain you in detail. But before that, I'll explain you how a fertilization occurs normally. Normally, ovulating female releases one egg each month, and this egg will be taken up by the fallopian tube. And if the husband and wife have contact around this ovulation time, the husband will be depositing the semen in the vagina. From there, the sperm ascends up and crosses the cervix, crosses the uterus, and reaches the fallopian tube, where the egg will be waiting for the sperm to be fertilized. Once after fertilization, this egg, this is the fertilized egg, matures in the fallopian tube for three, four days. And by fifth or sixth day, this embryo reaches the uterus and there it attaches and becomes a beautiful baby. So normally an implantation occurs when the embryo reaches a plastocyst stage, that is the day five or day six of the birth after fertilization. So this Blastocyst transfer has a high success rate compared to the early days embryo. Okay, let us see why this blastocyst transfer has high success rate. See, the blastocyst is an embryo which are allowed to develop in the laboratory for day five or day six after the egg collection. And this blastocyst has two layers, the outer uh, sphere is called the trophoblast, which actually becomes a placenta and this nourishes the baby. And uh, inside this trophoblast, we have the inner cell mass, which actually develops into a baby. So once after IVF ICSI, that is once after fertilization, the only a very few embryos reaches this blastocyst stage. This self-selection, that is a natural selection of embryos, allows the embryologist, um, embryologist to select the best embryos for the transfer, which gives a high success rate. The rationale behind this blastocyst transfer is that the embryos which fail to develop into a uh, blastocyst are unlikely to provide the pregnancy rate. So this uh, improved implantation rate is because of the blastocyst uh, embryos. Uh, that is because of the self-selection, this natural selection of the best embryos. Okay, this uh, blastocyst we are doing when in blastocyst transfer. We are doing only a reduced number of uh, transfers. That is only two two embryo transfers. So this actually helps us uh, in reducing the multiple pregnancy rate, thereby improving the uh, pregnancy outcome, that is the neonatal, good neonatal outcome. And this blastocyst embryos withstand the cryopreservation, that is a freezing process very well. Okay, now let us see what is laser-assisted hatching. This laser-assisted hatching is an additional laboratory pr procedure which is done to enhance the success rate in the IVF C cycle. Normally, the egg is surrounded by a protective shell called the zona pellucida, and this zona is very important in the fertilization process as only one sperm, you know, this zona allows only one sperm to enter the egg for fertilization. In IVF fixie cycle, we are doing the fertilization, that is, we are inserting one sperm inside the egg, and after fertilization, the zona hardens. Uh, this process is very normal uh, in order to keep the growing cells together. So the embryos has to hatch or break out of the zona pellucida in order to uh, implant. 
In IVF fixing cycle, the zona hardens at a rate faster than the natural cycle. So this laser assisted hatching is a process by creating a hole in the zona pellucida that by you know, in, uh, providing the implantation trade, thereby improving the pregnancy rate. Okay, who will be benefited with this laser assisted hatching? So, patients who are having a thick zona pellucida and patients who are more than 37 years of age, uh, these patients have, you know, thicker zona than the inner patients and patients who have previous IVF cycles uh, failed and uh, patients with high follicle stimulating hormone and patients who are poor responders will be benefited by this laser assisted hatching. So in Indra IVF, we are doing this blastocyst transfer and laser assisted hatching for best results. Thereby we are providing about 70 to 80 percent success rate across all our centers. So if you have any doubt regarding your fertility treatment or if you have any query you can uh, kindly contact the number given below. I hope you guys understand this late blastocyst and the laser assisted uh, hatching process. Thank you for your time.